Hello everyone, this is Lou the Geek Warrior, that's right, I made an edit to my name because, you know, whatever. Um, Lou the Geek Warrior here playing Monster Prom! Yes, I'm so excited, I've been meaning to play this for a while, but I just didn't get around to it until I got it yesterday, installed it, now I'm ready to play. I'm not gonna talk too much about that, let's just get into it, let's go. Uh... Voice interjections. Um. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Great. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, you can play this with multiple people. Yeah, I I'm I'm going into this as blind as possible, so I don't really know. Uh, one player then. Um. Ooh. Let's. Uh. I'm probably gonna end up playing this multiple times, right? Because that's like. Things usually go. Uh, let's go with the short game for now. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, she's player one. Uh, ooh, this one, this one speaks to me. I'm gonna be him. Um, Name. Uh. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I might. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna name my character Salamander Zack again. No. No. Now I'll just go with the default name. No. I'm. <laughs> I must. I must make an actual name. Uh. There. Perfect. That's a name I like. Pronoun. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's just go. Ah, yeah. S sure thing. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting the player character to be voice. That's cool. Um, so we, and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The monster prom. I remember clearly. Three weeks were left. As we fantasize about our dream prom dates, we are all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt was a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <laughs> Damien LeVay, Le 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 that's what I'm going with, a fearless student with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Aw. <laughs> Liam DeLioncourt, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Polly, Ge <laughs> Polly Geist, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, a mean, self made gorgon with a merciless sense of business clear. Had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Ooh! <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Aw, cool! Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, GM, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into character stats. Oh no. This way, this way too, you'll start by having stats that better reflect your truer selves. Let's start! Get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on, um, uh, superheroes. Um, what? Uh. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> if you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Oh. Um. Like, I, I was just reading the, the first sentence of that, and I was like, yeah, and then I read the rest of it, and I was like, no. I don't want to read these aloud, man. I... I don't... I... 
I don't like this question. <sighs> I'm gonna pick this one, but only because it's not an actual answer. The world will end tomorrow. What will you do today? Um... Uh, uh, with too many choices, I can't decide. Auditorium. Ah, the day that day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as tough. It's it's as though the muses themselves descended to give you a figured flow job. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. That's good, because that's what I'm dude. That's that reflects my true self. You're bored and noodling in your notebook when Damien suddenly appears. Ah! Hi. What the fuck is this doodle? Is that me? Am I cuddling shirt with Liz with Liam? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Loser. Dude, if you're looking for a shortcut to the morgue, this is your lucky day. Ugh. Give me one good reason not to cuddle your face with my fists. Oh no, they discovered your erotic fan art with them. You can't think of any way to calm down the both of them. Maybe there's a right answer that can calm one of them. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, don't be silly. You don't want to fight me. You're clearly fighting against your urge for cuddling. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I made a mistake. In the end, Sudi actually did want to fight you, so he did. You need to check your people skills. And also some of your ribs, which are probably broken. You lose minus one boldness and minus one charm. No! All right, lunch. All right. Um. Ah. Uh, uh, um. Uh. This. Um. Man, I don't know. Uh. Uh. I'll hang out with these two. They seem cool. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. Okay. Oh, wine. The most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. Do you know a lot about wine, then? I'm having a dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. I like the screaming in the music, by the way. That's, that's a nice touch. That's what the media wants you to think. So do you know about wine or not? Alas, in my centuries of living, I have only learned how to look good holding wine, not how to evaluate it. All I know is that I'm not drinking another glass of that one. Vera points at a bottle with Polly's toilet wine written on in permanent marker. What I wouldn't give for an experience here to help us judge which wine is best. You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most players uh, just makes stuff up anyway. So I recommend. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna suggest that. That's not probably a good thing. You know, the most pronounced sweetness and citrus flavors would go well with an unholy blood meal. I've always tried to pair... <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know literally anything about... 
I, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. Wait, what? I, I, I stopped paying attention for a second because the screams in the background brought, uh, were, were distracting me. What? <clears throat> As someone who does not literally drink blood, I am afraid I can't share your enthusiasm. But I do like to imagine vampires getting chunks of fruit stuck between their fangs. <laughs> what? Liam ignores her. He's too busy gazing at you over the rim of his glass. He's a little drunk, but you don't judge. <laughs> okay. Week one, evening. All right. <laughs> um, I sh should probably like go to class, right? <laughs> like that's a thing I'm supposed to do right now. I'm gonna go to the library. Who cares? That day you spend some time in the library's PCs, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money! <laughs> what? Doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such blatant scam? You lose minus 10 karma! Which is a sentence, Kate, so who cares? And you gain plus 2 money. Oh. Huh. It isn't. You know Stavian and Liam arguing as intensely as they are stupidly. Ah, oh, I just saw them earlier. You're not unique! I'm fucking unique! Ha, you wish. I'm unique like a snowflake made of flat- flash frozen tears! I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash frozen- fuck you! Ooh, mood. I'm so unique I eat garlic with every meal. <laughs> d, d, d isn't that bad? Like, it's bad that- uh, you, you're- you're a vampire. D d wh why are you eating garlic? Big deal! I'm so unique I got a tattoo of the baby Jesus on my ass! Oh, I see. Yawn, I'm so unique I let my victim suck my blood. Weak! <coughs> I can't voice Damien, I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm so unique I go to church every Sunday. I'd do that too if I wasn't allergic. Would not. Would what you? A noob. Blame me, Alec Turd. Ugh, lame. Don't, don't tempt me, Mephistophel loser. This will go on forever, and if it does, you'll never get to smooch either of them. It's up to you to put an end to this debate once and for all. I suggest they d decide the issue by... Number of Instagram followers, tomb robbery contest. Okay. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah, Instagram? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Th th why was it a suggestion? I'm going to throw out a guess here. Is that a social network? What the fuck? He literally spent all afternoon at the cafeteria just taking food pics for Instagram. He's just messing with you for the sake of winning this argument. Oh, that explains it. Listen, outsiders like us, we don't use social networks. We use anti-social networks. Like, see this one? It's called Loner. It's got- I've got zero friends on it. <laughs> is that all? I've got negative one <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? Well, the last image I posted got over a thousand dislikes. Oh yeah, well. You've clearly solved nothing. You decided to make your escape before you caught in <laughs> some kind of indie implosion. You lose n minus- You lose two creativity and one charm. I'm so bad at this, apparently. Okay, morning. All right. <laughs> Please. I'm just gonna go to hey, class stranger. like a good kid. Huh? Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that'll boost your stats. Shit that'll lead you to stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might take be much needed at some very specific moment, so take a look! Do, do I have... Okay, I have five dollars. Um... Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like, some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as I'm trying to dispose of it. <laughs> Good old cocaine! Okay. Crafting your art requires years of hard work education from great mentors and tons of raw talent but damn this sounds exhausting so let's sell for a motivational poster for now okay oh it's bob ross 
What's that? What's that sound? Sounds like a, an electronic mouse squeaking. High school social life is hard nowadays. Now, that hiring PR agent is totally a thing. Remember when these used to be cool? No, they aren't. They're still so ridiculous that they're fun in their own twisted way. Um. <laughs> what? You know, forget old blood rituals or just a creep with unhealthy obsessions. Don't even dare ask me how I got this. What? <laughs> blanket with two holes. Larry, just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You have to be an idiot and mistake this for a ghost costume. Most of our classmates are idiots. Um. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, makes. No. Make everyone your bitch and then murder them too and go to some kind of super prison? Street cred plus 9,000! Are you sure about this? You can always use Wikipedia to get the general idea and still be able to act like you've read it. A ru wait, uh, the, the name. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Is this is this supposed is that supposed to be War and Peace? I don't know. Uh what? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Do I even need to get anything? Um Well, let's see, I can probably get a couple of things. Um. Later, Gator. Sure, I'll get War and Peace. Ah, uh, nothing better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are better smells, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, you can only buy one thing per, per shop. Rip. Alright. Uh. I might just end the episode here because I, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're almost 20 minutes in. This is a good place to end it. Uh, well, then I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye!